Solution Uncle, I'm worried and crying every time of the day. I don't know what to do anymore. They cursed my child. My child is both a male and a female organ. I was a witch and chose to be born again. The problem I made was leaving my other child in the group of witches. They are using him to destroy his own family. I was the one responsible for the death of popular musicians. Yellow viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. My name is Solution Uncle. If you're still new in this show, we publish lifetime confessions. Usually, we publish anonymously for their own safety reasons. This is video number one of two. It will be a double upload today. And in this video, we will be going through this confession of a lady who gave birth to a baby with both a male and a female organ. Mm, two organs on one person. After that, we'll be going through other stories, mm, issues to do with the relationships. So never go anywhere. Stay tuned until the video is finished. Thank you so much for always supporting Extraordinary Africa. Enjoy your watch. The greatest mistake I made in my life was joining a group of witches. I am a person who grew up going to church with my parents when they were still alive. All this started when I came to town. I came to town thinking life in town is very easy. Everything wasn't working at all. I started moving around door by door begging for food until I met this family. They said they were to take care of me. I was to be staying with them. I was out of ideas. I phoned my parents telling them I found a job. They were still alive by that time. They were not already dead. We stayed there, but there was this weird behaviors from these family members. There is this tree which is in their yard. Every night they will be at that tree singing and dancing, playing, moving around the tree. It was like a joke. I thought it was a joke during first days because sometimes they will be playing a music, a real music on the speaker. Then they were playing, uh, the dancing, moving around in a circle. The whole family. During first days, I thought, ah, these people are very funny. I didn't know these were rituals which were done. The father owned several businesses across South Africa. He's a prominent figure. He's a music promoter. Worked with many artists. I stayed there. They were only giving me food. But there's a time... My father felt sick. They didn't support me any. Only my parents called, thinking maybe as a person who was working, I could support them. I told them I was bankrupt. I didn't have the money. My father died like that. The same disease affected my young brother. He died the same way as my father. It was allegedly said it might be cancer. And within a few years, my mom started feeling sick. The same disease again. I was afraid to lose my mom because she is, she was my role model. She was the person I couldn't afford to lose against all odds. The family stepped up and said they are ready to help my mother, but on one condition, I should join their church. Since coming to their house, I was praying. I was a prayerful person. I couldn't sleep without praying. I couldn't eat without praying. I agreed to join the church because I wanted my mom to be free. 
we went to this area in Tanzania. There is a, a flood in that suburb. We entered into the flood, moved to the last floor by a lift, and that last floor, there is this big room with red wall. The ceiling is in red. The roof, everything is in red in that house. The floor is in red. There was a lady sitting at the center of that very big room. You are someone worshipping. He was like worshipping, pointing on top, down, and laughing. Sometimes we went straight to the lady. We lied on the floor, started rolling in respect to the lady. My boss lady started laughing and said, Queen Mother, he is the newly born baby. They accepted me and I was given wine. I drank the wine. When I was almost to finish it, I realized it was blood I was drinking. These people were evil people. But soon after realizing, I didn't know what was happening. Only to know What was happening the following morning? Two of my fingers were removed. From that day, I am working with the crew. They are witches. Because we use African traditional medicines to bewitch. We will be in and around houses of people who will yet then we'll bewitch them. Usually, we try to use ainas and oils for transport. When we arrive at your doorstep, our entrance is under the door. If sea salt is on that door, there is no access. Sometimes we enter through air vents or through the lock when the key is not there, we will be bewitching people. So I've been in the group for many years. I came out of the house of the people. I was earning my own money. I married a man and started staying with him. He was a married man. He stopped taking care of his family, came to stay with me. We have children together. I need to sacrifice at least two people. I sacrificed my siblings during first year. The next year I sacrificed my child. I did a lot because we should give them blood. They need human blood. That's their goal. So there is this pastor I saw on social media. He was preaching about witchcraft and satanism. I chose to quit because his word touched me. I went to his parish. He prayed for me. Within two weeks, I wasn't feeling I want to continue in this witches group. So to be in that group, there is this ring they give you As long as you remove that ring, you no longer be involved in their meetings. But 
when I was still there, I used to go with my child. He is now eight years. I was afraid he might cry when I'm at church and my husband will be suspecting, will be suspicious because I won't be able to be awake when I'm out with other witches. So I took the child. I didn't know our leader placed the demon in him. Now I'm out, but there is this thing which has recently happened. I gave birth to this baby with two organs, one of a female, one of a male. All the organs are working. My husband is now suspicious. I have never told him about the problem. I only lied that the child is a baby boy because he was struggling to have a baby boy all these years. I don't know what to do. That's my story. Can it be reversible? Or can I kill that child of mine who is using others? That's my story. I am breathing fire. I don't know what to do. Solution Uncle, please publish it anonymously. Never disclose anything about me. I was using my husband's cell phone. I might be in trouble. Thank you if you'll be publishing. Yellow Solution Uncle, please make me anonymous. I feel guilty for leaving the lady I was working for. So I'm a student and my mom's responsibility is huge. She is the only one taking care of my family. So asking her for money is the last thing I want to do. So I got a stay in babysitting job. So the lady I was working for said my responsibility is to just take her kids to the daycare and also fetch them. And the amount she was paying, it was 1,500 rands. Cool. I had no stress because it was enough for my tax fare plus lunch. So every morning I would wake up and bath the kids and take them to the daycare and I will catch a text and go to the college. Mind you, the problem was the lady didn't leave any food for us to eat and the kids would go to crash Balamile. When we come back, still there's no food. I'll end up buying food from my pocket money almost every day. The lady didn't clean the house anymore and didn't do the laundry anymore. So I have turned into a maid now, washing her clothes, also doing some stuff. I was only given one day off every week. Okay, yeah, I didn't mind since I was also staying there. So... Confronted there about the food issue since she said I shouldn't worry about food before I got hired. She then brought a grocery and it lasted for the entire month. The following month she didn't bother to buy ukutla. I was also making sure ukut I don't waste but still. Now things got worse. She is leaving her clothes unwashed including as a bandwana. When I come back from home, I'll find the house too dirty, yo. Ay, ay. So the, there was a day I was hungry and I was cleaning the house. So she came home from work, then told her I was angry. She took out 20 runs at, and I must buy the fat cake for all of us. She was from the night shift. I went there to buy them. Then I got back. Eh, she ate them with her kids. And when I was done cleaning and washing, I was ready to eat. When I opened the plastic, there was nothing. I asked dear Okuthi Kant Mina. She said all the kids ate all of them. Mind you, we only eat once during the night. I, I took everything that belongs to me and went back home. I was washing with my hands until my fingers bleed. Cleaning after year and her kids, she was eating while sleeping in bed with her kids and the juvet will be dirty and it was my responsibility to wash it. 
I would sometimes ask the kids not to eat while sleeping, but Diana, she would call them and tell them to eat. Yo, those things happened before I decided to leave yeah, while she was sleeping. She didn't see me leaving and my heart is just broken because to be honest, I miss the kids. We had so much fun, yes. We would be seeing and play together when she was at work. So I wrote her a message apologizing, but she called me childish. Like was, I was wrong for leaving. I didn't know and I don't know if I made a wrong decision. What's your thoughts on my story? Here is our next confession. Please approve for me, Solution Uncle. My name is Kay. I'm going through some stuff and I think I need an advice on what to do. I started dating this lady I used to know years back, but before I met her, she was in a relationship based on the conservation we had. So due to that, I never tried to shoot my shot. I left the town. She is because I only went there to work. We lost contact for about a year, and suddenly, about two months ago, I asked of how your fiancé is doing, and she said, and told me the relationship didn't work so sharp. I asked if I can be a man. She accepted days ago and we started dating. Honestly, this girl is very beautiful, religious, outing, romantic and all. But this is where there is an issue. I am just a reserved guy who doesn't like outing and crowd. So I am always indoors. And the only thing I entertain myself it is my cell phone if I'm provided the data. Due to this, I try to comment on my friends' post and we make fun out of it and all that cause I'm kind of juvenile cadre. But this is my girl. We always go under a post. I comment and start misbehaving by commenting with these emojis of someone who is angry and all sort of stuffs, not that alone. I wake up and see messages like, you are cheating on me because you were online and you are not replying my messages and all sort of stuff. It's not as if I don't have time for here. So irrespective of my busy schedule and time demanding nature of the job I do, I still make sure we talk in the morning, afternoon and evening. But I don't know why she is still doing this is kind of stressful to me and I'm someone that is very careful with my mental health and wouldn't want any disturbances from anyone but family. This is what I'm going through. You tell her to stop and she tell you it's because she's feeling jealous and all that. What should I do to solve this issue?